looks at it, and Rich will put it down with some authority. A deep three from Andrews. Oh, make it rain, baby! Yes! That's left, kicks it to the corner, to the left wing. The corner, or the wing three is up and good. Zoe Swallow downs it up from long range. Payoff pitch here from Turner. And that's going to be a fly ball center field. That's going to get out here for the loose. Here's the pitch. And ground ball. That's going to get through the left side of the infield. And that's going to score another run. And that's going to be an RBI single. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome live here on your home of the Raiders, the WHS Network, here on YouTube.com. Here from Daleville High School in Daleville, Indiana, here on this uh, very snowy and windy night here in uh, the good old state of Indiana. I'll tell you what, that was a mess driving over here for this uh, ball game here tonight. But uh, looking forward to what will hopefully be a great night of Wapa Honey Raider basketball coming your way here this evening again. As always, I am play-by-play broadcaster Brandon Morvillius. Alongside here with me is cameraman Jordan Redbeard McCoy. We thank you all for tuning in here tonight as uh, we get right into things here with our Raiders Live pregame show presented by Alfred Rods and Customs, a proud sponsor of the WHS Network. So, obviously, uh, slight uh, slight different camera view. Obviously, you can kind of tell that already here this evening. Uh, we will... Uh, be having this all throughout the evening here, so we appreciate Daleville for first and foremost allowing us to be here, uh, but number two for getting us at least a seat in the house uh, to broadcast uh, tonight's game for all you fine folks out there in Raider Country. Uh, again, especially on you know quite the the evening is what we have here with uh, with a nice uh, four letter weather uh, weather word there of snow. Uh, a lot of people probably staying home here tonight, so. We're happy to be able to uh, to provide tonight's action for all you fine folks. Uh, it's been a it's been a little while since we last played. I think that was what uh, last shoot uh, last Friday maybe. Um, so it's it's been a uh, it's been a hot minute since we last played, and uh, we've got back to back nights here. So obviously this Daleville Broncos basketball program. Really going in the right direction here. Uh, a, a tough group of young men that, you know, this isn't going to be a cakewalk for either team. And and so, Wapahani, we've got to be prepared. We've got to come out here with our A game tonight uh, and hopefully establish that inside presence there starting off there with Caleb Lewis. And uh, and then hopefully, you know, some of our outside shooting. You know, Brock Zitgraf has really done a nice job, uh, you know, not, in, not only from the outside but rebounding there on the inside. Hunter Rodifer has done an excellent job. Uh, there in the rebounding department as well, and uh, and like I said, if we get some good guard play here, uh, you know, get some guys open, hit some shots. Uh, our, our defense, for the most part, has been really solid, and, and so you know, there's a lot that goes into uh, into winning ball games. You know, you have a you have to have quite the winning recipe. So we'll see what happens, but uh, we're looking forward to what will hopefully be a great night of uh, of Wapahoney Raider basketball. Please make sure to stay right here with us throughout the evening. Again, that we'll have tonight's uh, junior varsity action as uh, we'll take a look here at tonight's starting lineups. Uh, so, Daleville did not get their starting lineup in. Uh, they didn't even have their book out there as of a couple minutes ago, which, uh, you know, whatever. I don't know why that was the case, but nonetheless, we only have lineups tonight here for your Wampa Honey Raiders. So, starting here at one guard, a 5'10 sophomore, number three, Leighton Spence, at the other guard position, a 5'10 junior. Number four, Noah Henderson. At guard, a six foot one junior, number ten, Brock Zitgraf. At Ford, we have a six foot sophomore, number twelve, Hunter Rodifer. At the other four position here, number thirty two, six foot three sophomore, Caleb Lewis. So again, your Raiders coached by Chris Willis, assisted by Jeff Andrews, Andy Zitgraf, and Travis Stanglin. So again, uh, that is tonight's starting lineup for Wapa Honey. Again, Daleville did not get their starting lineups in on time. Uh, so we do not have that. So nonetheless, we'll step aside here for a quick timeout, and we'll be back here at Tampa here on your home of the Raiders, the WHS Network.
All right, folks, welcome back here tonight uh, again with uh, Junior Varsity Action, Waple Honey, and Daleville. As we get tonight's game officially underway here at 6.01 p.m. here on this Friday, February the 16th, 2024. Again, I'm play-by-play broadcaster Brandon Morvillius. Alongside here with me, cameraman Jordan Redbeard McCoy. Again, we're, well, we're up close and personal here tonight. Uh, with tonight's action, again, literally right on the floor. I'm sitting on the floor. I put Redbeard on the stage and uh, to give us a, a little bit more of a heightened view. But, um, yeah, we're going to go at it, and hopefully all of you will enjoy tonight's broadcast. Anderson right side here to Rodifer. Now the handoff here. Zitgraf pulling up for three. Left that one short, and number 23 which uh, they didn't put their, their roster in numerical order either, so that's nice. Uh, we have Hunter Suchnup. Zit Graf all the way out here near half court. Right side now to Henderson. Nothing's there. Screen set by Rodifer. Rolls off of it. Nothing there again. Now Caleb Lewis will get that one stripped away from him. First turnover there tonight there for Wapahoney. And Rodifer will clean there on the rebounding department. Again, a lot of zooming in and out. That's just the way it's going to go here tonight. So, again, bear with us. That's just... uh, I said it with the, with the camera view that we have, this is how it's going to be all night long. So if you guys get seasick, then I would probably just go ahead and shut it off, to be quite honest. So a turnover here on the Broncos. First turnover here of the night there for the young men. Zit Graf, uh, yeah, Zit Graf back across half court here. Henderson now drives it right. Looking to turn the corner. Nothing there again. Well defended there by Suchna. The three from Henderson, no good. And will not be able to track down the rebound. Kick to the corner. That is number three, uh, Makai Snyder. Again, none of these numbers are in numerical order, so it's going to take a minute to, to track the, the name and the number down. Right side here to Zit Grant, 3-2 Broncos. I'll tell you what, the Raiders just not strong with the basketball here in the early stages here tonight. So second turnover now. And Henderson will be bumped there on the left side. So the foul is on number 24, Kevin Kim, his first, team's first here of the night. Wait and spins to inbound it. And Caleb Kine will now sub in here for Wapple. Honey seen his first action tonight. Caleb Lewis will have a seat. And another foul here. This one's going to be on number 23. Hunter Suchna. His first team second. No good, and here come the Broncos back the other way, and they will turn it over. Hand off to Spence. Now to Henderson here on the left wing. 
Dribbles back to the right side now. Now Zit Graf. Again, the Raiders continuing to move the ball, but only around the perimeter. Nothing going inside here. And so a Raider turnover, their third. And we'll get a timeout on the floor taken by Wapahani. We'll step aside here for a timeout of our own 5-2 Daleville. Here with 3.03 to play here in the first quarter. Folks, again, back out of the break in that went uh, a little bit shorter than what we was anticipating there. That was a great hustle, by the way, there by Leighton Spence. End up collecting the takeaway right there as Caleb Kine knocks, knocks down the Rainmaker there. So tie game here at five off the mark right there. Kim will toss that one up, and that's going to be an easy turnover. Spence. Right in there for two. Nice ball movement right there and being able to get the ball inside there from Henderson to Spence. So late now with four points. The Raiders now on top. Here's seven to five. And that's going to be an offensive foul. As Zitgraf will take one for the team. So Sutsna gets his second. Team's third of the quarter. As we'll see a little full court pressure once again put on here by Daleville. Again, a 5-0 run here from Wapahani. Spence Motors up floor. That was quickly disposed of there from a defensive aspect here from the Broncos. Kine will throw that one away. So that is now the fourth turnover here in the first quarter for Wapahani, also four for Daleville. It's obviously never a good sign when you have almost just as many turnovers as you do points. So a little bit of a rough start here for both sides. The three on the way and no good, but the rebound there by number 12, Caleb Aiken. Rodifer gets it done underneath, another good strong defensive rebound. So, again, they had a second chance opportunity, but the Broncos don't make good of it. Right side shot up and good there for Leighton Spence. He's now up to six points. So, now make that a 7 0 Wapa Honey run. And that's going to be a bump from behind there on Bronx Zitgraf. It's going to be his first, team's first. Right side three up and good. That was for number three, Kai Snyder. Spence here at the top. Right side now to Zitgraf. Kine. And Zitgraf rolls off of it now here in the corner. Uncontested. Took the shot. No good. Spence there with a backside offensive rebound. And we'll have a jump ball in which the possession arrow will favor the Broncos. And there's a loose ball. The elbow ends up getting it back. And then Henderson ends up committing a foul. So that's his first team second. Off the mark there, Zitgraf corralling the rebound. 
37 seconds and counting as the Raiders, well, we'll see if they end up holding here for the last shot. Obviously, that's going to, well, so much for that. And that's going to be goaltending. So the basket, good. That was our fifth turnover here in the first quarter. As Daleville retakes the lead here 10 to 9. Now we'll see if Wapahani holds for the last shot or not. And I was going to say it all depended upon what the defense was going to do. And obviously, they was able to collect another turnover and another one. Can't hold on to it. That one stuffed right there, but nice steal there from Henderson all the way down floor. Good Lord. That pass thrown about five feet above the head down floor as that's going to be turnover number five here on Daleville here in the first quarter. And that's going to do it here for the opening quarter. Ten to nine, Daleville leads it. At the end of one, make sure to stay right here with us again as we come back here from the break. We've got your second quarter of action coming up right here on your home of the Raiders, the WHS Network. Alrighty, folks, back at it here with quarter number two here on the WHS Network. Again, we want to thank you all for tuning in here tonight. Again, on a very snowy evening here from Daleville High School. Should be a, a great deal of fun driving home. I'll tell you that on the way out here, it was it was starting to definitely get slick as that one will be up and good there for Leighton Spence. So Spence now with eight points here on the night. Oh, no, actually, that was a three-point shot. Okay. So make that nine points here on the night. And we'll get a timeout taken here by Daleville, their first charge timeout here of the night. And we'll go ahead and stick right here with you. This will be a full timeout here on the floor. Um, but nonetheless, uh, as I, I, I talked about this briefly earlier, so, obviously, Wapahani back-to-back -back nights right here. Tonight, obviously, at, uh, at Daleville, and then tomorrow night, uh, we've got homecoming 2024 as uh, your Wapahani Raiders will be taking on the Yorktown Tigers there from Raider Gymnasium. Uh, please come on out. We'd love to have you. Um, we've got a lot going on tomorrow night. First and foremost, uh, the Liberty Prairie Alumni Association is uh, is hosting along with, I believe, maybe Harris Chapel or, or somebody's coming in to uh, provide food. Um, but it is a chicken chicken noodle fundraiser dinner uh, for the Lacey uh, Marie Chambers Memorial Scholarship that is ran through the Liberty Prairie Alumni Association. Again, all proceeds. Uh, will go directly into that scholarship fund. So please come on out. Uh, the dinner starts at 5 o'clock. I believe runs until around 7.30, if I remember correctly. Um, so we would love to have everybody come out, support uh, support the, the Memorial Scholarship there for uh, Lacey Chambers, again, a, a former student out there at, uh, at Wapahani High School. So we would we'd love to uh, raise a lot of money for a great cause. 
So 14-10 there. Again, you had Caleb Lewis knocking down the two-point bucket there on the inside. Offensive rebound here underneath. That was number 11. That is Logan Parker. And the bank's open. Spence going right at the rim and kisses that one off the glass there for two more. Another near takeaway deflection right there from Henderson. Up floor here to Parker. Left side now drags it up top here. The three on the way off the left side as Rodifer will continue his prowess underneath and collecting rebounds. Spence, top the key bucket, no good, or shot rather, as Rodifer again claims another rebound, this time offensively, as he will be fouled on the way up. He'll head to the line for two. The foul is on number three, Makai Snyder, his first, team's first here of the quarter. So again, Hunter Rodifer at the line, shooting two. And the first one will be up and good. So Rodifer there with his first point here on the evening. Sack and free throw attempt up and good as well. Nicely done. So Rodifer there, two for two on that trip to the charity stripe, an 18-12 Wapahani lead. That's also a 9-2 run here from the Raiders. Off the mark right there, Rodifer with another rebound. The Raiders got an opportunity right here to uh, to add on. Lewis, left side here, extended out to the three-point line. Now hand off to Kine. Rodifer now on the right wing. Looks for Lewis underneath and puts that one in there for two more. Some good ball swing as far as, you know, swinging the ball around the perimeter. You found Lewis underneath. Just great recognition and then the nice finish. Uh, you know, it's so important to have, you know, good ball movement. Uh, you know, obviously you want to get the, you know, you want to work the ball inside as well. And we're able to do that and have success. Obviously it can spell a long night here for uh, for our opponent. So we've got a foul here on Henderson, his second. Team's first here of the quarter. So Daleville continues to have trouble. But they are able to get it off floor right there, but deflected out of bounds there by Caleb Kine. But uh, the Broncos have had some trouble, again, not only with the press, but then when they, even when they get it there in the half court, um, just being able to, to settle for a good shot. The Raiders have done a really nice job of contesting. That was a contested shot right there, but that was a knockdown three right there for number 12, Caleb Aiken. I believe that was him. It's hard to see, you know, when you're all the way on the very far end of the floor. Some of those numbers tend to kind of blend in with the jersey collar. Rodifer claiming another rebound, but the Raiders will turn it over the seventh time here tonight. You got eight turnovers for Daleville. Shots no good, Rodifer. As well on his way to a double-double if he uh, if he could get some more points up on the board here. He's got two so far. As well on his way to definite double-digit rebounds. Lewis stop, pop, and got the friendly roll to go. So Lewis now up to six points. And it's back to a seven-point Waffle Honey lead. So the foul's on Raider number 12, Hunter Rodifer, his first, team second of the quarter. Under three minutes to play here in the first half. That pass picked off. Turnover number nine, and Lewis Cruz is on in there, coast-to-coast style. There for two more to bring his total up to eight, and the Raiders now with a nine-point lead with almost two and a half to play here in the first half. 
Left hand up and good for two. Kine, right corner three. Off the mark, and Snyder ends up coming up with theirs. He's looking to push it up for here for the Broncos. Good help side there from Lewis. Rodifer with another rebound. They're on the backside. Can't get the friendly bounce to go. Snyder once again on the move here for Daleville. Left side three off the mark. Rebounded by Kine. And we're going to get a timeout on the floor here with 132 remaining here in the first half. Again, a 30-second timeout taken here by the Raiders. We'll step aside, and we'll be back with more right after this message from East Jackson Auto Sales. is your score here with 132 to play here in quarter number two. Again, a Waffle Honey was down 10 to 9 there at the end of one, but a uh, strong showing here in the second quarter has propelled them up currently to a seven point advantage. The Raiders will have Caleb Kine, Leighton Spence, Noah Henderson, Hunter Rodifer, and Caleb Lewis on the floor as of right now. Rodifer here on the right wing. Works it now to the right corner, near the right corner anyway. Rodifer with a screen. Now Lewis here at the left side elbow. And not much there. Good patience right there from Lewis. Again, swinging the ball around here. And find Spence, and then that shot, I don't know, partially blocked, but then Rodifer doing what he does best, rebounding the basketball and then puts it through there for two points. The foul will be here on number three, Leighton Spence, his first, team's third of the quarter. About 55 seconds remaining here in the first half. And that pass deflected and it's going to stay right here with Daleville. Shots up, and it's good. So I think that they're saying his name is Sutna. And if that is the case, and I apologize for mispronunciating that. Main thing here for Wapahani, obviously make sure to take good care of the basketball. I don't so much for that. Turnover number eight here in the first half. No good there on the shot. Rebounded by Rodifer. And that's going to be thrown all the way down here where we are. Nicely done, Redbeard. Way to defend the camera. 26-19 here at the half. Make sure to stay around right here with us. We'll have our halftime report coming up. You're on your home of the Raiders, the WHS Network.
Hi, I'm Austin Rich with Next Home Elite Real Estate. Our company's mantra has been and will always be humans over houses. For the last several years, we have been able to help people follow our mission statement, which is enriching lives by helping people find their next home. Next Home Elite Real Estate has premier real estate agents ready to assist you with commercial properties, new construction, residential homes, or investment properties, no matter if you are looking to purchase or to sell. We are skilled negotiators, tenacious marketers, and fearless advocates for our clients. We want them to feel the passion we have for what we do and the professionalism we exemplify while we do it. Our clients depend on us to have grit and determination when we represent them. We roll up our sleeves and get to work. Every interaction, every time. Hi, I'm Tara. Hi, I'm Michelle. Hi, I'm Kathy. Hi, I'm Seth. Hi, I'm Lindsay. Hi, I'm Courtney. We stand for doing the right thing, even when it's not convenient. We deliver integrity in all we do through our uncompromising ethical principles and values. Our clients count on us not to only help them buy or sell their home, but to make sure the process is infused with joy. We strive to bring a smile to their faces as they enter the next phase of their lives. Call Next Home Elite Real Estate today. We are here to help you.
All right, folks, welcome back here to our Joe's Barbecue and more game break at the half. It is Waffle Honey 26, Daleville 19 here at the break. Waffle Honey and uh, Daleville really, I mean, it's been a close game um, really all the way through. You know, they had some lean changes there throughout the first half at least. I don't know, probably, I don't know, maybe three or four different lead changes. Um, turnovers have been probably one of the biggest keys here in this first half, really for both sides. Uh, Daleville with nine of them, Wampahani with eight. Uh, so neither team took all that great care of the basketball. Now, I will say Wampahani did a much better job in the second quarter than what they did in the first quarter as far as taking care of the basketball. So... That was an improvement, which that was nice to see because not only did we take good care of the basketball, you know, as far as better there in the second quarter, but then that resulted in uh, some, some you know, opportunities on the offensive end that we didn't have there in the first quarter, and we ended up connecting on those. And uh, we ended up scoring 15 points there in the, in the uh, or actually, pardon me, 17 points there in the second quarter compared to only nine there in the first. So, uh, you know, that's what happens. You know, we start taking good care of the basketball. Uh, we, we got the you know got the ball inside. Uh, Caleb Lewis really went to town. Leighton Spence really had a great effort there in the first half as well. He ended up tallying 11 points. Uh, Lewis there with eight. Rodifer, uh, the rebounding machine, he had four points. Uh, Caleb Kine with three. Uh, but just I, I love the way that we went out there. We battled there in the first half. Got to continue that that same mindset and and physicality. Um, here in half number two in order to give ourselves a chance to uh, to win here tonight. So um, big thing also here in the second half for Wapahunny, um, not only to continue to take good care of the basketball, but we've limited them for the most part to one shot or less. Um, you know, obviously with the, you know, with converting on, you know, with taking, the, you know, taking the ball away from that obviously helps, but We've done such a good job of rebounding and not allowing uh, all that many second chance opportunities. If we can continue to do that, limiting them to one shot or less, uh, and then to, you know, hopefully we can continue what we did there in the second quarter offensively. Uh, you know, I mean, I, I truly believe we can definitely run away with this thing. But Daleville, I mean, you know, they they still, you know, I mean, they have. A pretty nice group of young men here, so you know they're not out of it by any means. You're down by seven points here at the half, but uh, but we've got to be ready to go uh, coming up here in the second half and make sure that we make the appropriate adjustments and uh, and go from there. So, nonetheless, we'll see what happens. And uh, 26-19 here at the break. We'll be back here at the start of the second half here on the WHS Network. You're good at making big announcements. We're having a go! <laughs> We're good at your insurance. Start with Indiana Farm Bureau Insurance, online, over the phone, or in person, and stop knocking on wood. You're good at basement basketball. We're good at your insurance. Start with Indiana Farm Bureau Insurance, online, over the phone, or in person, and stop knocking on wood. Brandon Orvillius right here with you all alongside cameraman Jordan Nett Beard McCoy again here from Daleville High School in uh, Daleville, Indiana. Again here on this uh, snowy night here in the Hoosier State as uh, Wapahunny here with a 26-19 lead here as we enter the second half of play. Again, we want to thank you all for tuning in and supporting both of these teams here tonight. A uh, great group of young men here on both sides and it's been a very highly competitive matchup here so far, so we're looking forward to what this second half might bring here as uh, Suchna there with the two-point basket. Again, I really hope 
I'm not just completely botching that name. I've said it both ways, Suchna and Suchna, which technically, if you look at the spelling, it should be Suchna. But uh, obviously, everything isn't always what it seems to be, as that's going to be a three-point basket there from Brock Zitgraf. That's going to be his first points here on the night. But, again, if I'm mispronunciating that, I apologize there to the young man and his family because that, uh, that's not my intentions. But, obviously, again, we didn't get to talk to anybody, and they didn't give us any kind of starting lineups whatsoever before the game. Again, I think they got the scorebook out here maybe a minute before uh, the, uh, the the starting lineup, and the PA announcer didn't even have them. So, obviously, that's a problem when he doesn't have them. So, I have a foul here on Noah Henderson, his third, team's first here of the quarter. And a first free throw attempt will be up and no good. So, we'll have number two, Caleb Kine, back in for Wapahani. Noah Henderson will have a seat again there with three fouls. Second of two, that one will be good. Spence here on the left wing. He's got some room right there. Step back three is up and won't get the friendly bounce and roll to go. Left corner three from Snyder. That one will tickle the twine right there for the Broncos. Hand off here to Zitgraf from the right side. Drives it, kicks it to the left wing. The three from Kine in and right back out. That was a good looking shot right there. And that was all but down. Snyder drives it left, but took one too many steps to begin with before he dribbled. And that's gonna be the first turnover here in the second half. And other disadvantages here of sitting along the baseline. You get a, a plethora of people that will walk in front of you. Unfortunately, we can't do anything about that, and I guess neither can they. But Rodifer up and good there for two more points. Up to six now here on the night. The Raiders also here with a six-point lead. Got inside there way too easily. Foul here on number 15, Victor Reyes, his first, team's uh, team's first here of the quarter. That's going to be out of bounds, and it's going to stay right here with the Raiders. So Kine will inbound it. Rodifer sets a screen there for Spence. Lewis here on the right side was looking there for the handoff to Kine, but he wasn't available. And the layup will be up and good there for two. Kine here on the right wing. Dribbles up top, and that's going to be another turnover. So obviously, you see what happens when you turn the you know when you turn the basketball over. Obviously, you're you're giving away opportunities. Uh, but not only that, you know there's not much flow to your offense. You've seen there in the second quarter, we had flow and rhythm on the offensive end. That's why we was able to to do what we were able to do and apply some distance between us and Daleville. This uh, 
this third corner so far not been uh, not been really too pretty. That's a charge. Way to take one for the team, Hunter Rodifer. So the offensive foul here on Mackay Snyder. That's going to be his second, team second of the quarter. Zick Graff back to Spence. Drives it near to the right side elbow. No good, but there's Brock Zitgraf with the rebound and the put back. So Zitgraf now on five points. A big time second chance opportunity. Three, no good. Lewis there with a rebound. Nicely done. Could have nearly got that young man with an over, over the back. So again, the loose ball right there ends up eventually going out of bounds off of Daleville. We'll get Noah Henderson back in here for Caleb Kine. Again, just a touch over two and a half to play here in the third. Spence dribbles it right, finds Zitgraf top to key three, tickles the twine from downtown. Zitgraf here with a second three on the night. Gives him eight points total. There's another Daleville turnover. And Zitgraf was trying to pass the air right there. <laughs> he lost the handle on the basketball midway. Oh, shoot. Lewis got position right there, and then it's fouled. On the way up here with a buck 54. Lewis found again. Okay, so the foul again here on number five, Bryson Ziegler, the second, team's fourth. So again, Caleb Lewis here at the charity stripe, two of them come in his direction. First one's going to be up and good. Second free throw attempt up and no good. So we'll head back the other way. And there's another Daleville turnover. They're fourth now in the second half. Zitgraf for three again. No good that time. And looks like we're going to have an over the back foul. Or maybe even, yep, it's going to be on here on Hunter Rodifer. So over the back called right there, his second. Team second here of the quarter. Left side here, number five. That is Sickler. Back up top. Nice defense here from the Raiders. The back side, though, Mackay Snyder right there flying through the air. Catches the pass and then puts that one up and good there for two. And Spence will get his pocket pick there. Take Graf up top, left side now to Henderson. Nice take there from Noah. 
Back out now to Rodifer, swung on up top here to Lewis, who nearly, nearly turned over. And we'll get a foul here from behind. So his last name is Sincana. Wow, that doesn't even make any sense whatsoever. I just heard a PA announcer just say that. I don't know. We're just going to go with number 23, and we'll just call it that. Because that doesn't, uh, I, I feel like that was completely messed up. Nonetheless, there, Spence up and go there with the first one. The second of two, no good that time. So the foul is going to be on number 32, Caleb Lewis, his first team's third. And a timeout on the floor taken by Daleville, so they will have three timeouts remaining. And this will be a 30-second timeout. Uh, we'll go ahead and stick right here with you. Uh, we'd like to send out a big thanks to uh, some of our sponsors here this evening. We've got a big thanks here to our pregame sponsor, Alfred Rods and Customs. With over 30 years of experience, they sell the baddest hot rods, street rods, muscle cars, and customs in the land. Alfred Rods and Customs buys, sells, and trades cars all over the country. For more information, you can call them at 765-717-3625. You can look them up on Facebook at Alfred Rods and Customs. Also, come check out their showroom at 613 East Weiser Street in Muncie, Indiana, and let them make your dream a reality. So greatly appreciate Alfred Rods and Customs for being a sponsor here of us on the WHS Network. Shot right there, no good. Lewis there with a rebound. The Raiders have got some time. Zitgraf is a little bit off the mark. And that's going to do it here for quarter number three, 38-33. Wapahani leads it. Make sure to stick around. Quarter number four coming up right here on your home of the Raiders, the WHS Network. A licensed sports official is a great way to make a positive difference in the community and support the over 160,000 Indiana student-athletes that participate across 22 IHSAA sports. Sports officiating allows you to stay connected to the game, become a role model for our young student-athletes, earn extra money, and support the patrons and communities of our IHSAA member schools. To learn more about becoming a licensed IHSAA official, log on to IHSAA.org officials today. All right, back at it here. Quarter number four coming up here in just a few moments. Again, we would like to thank some more of our sponsors here tonight. A big thanks here to Taylor Architects, Inc. They are a full-service, client-focused architecture firm that provides personal service to you and their clients in the development of high-quality facilities for a variety of building types. Those broad range of projects include commercial, institutional, governmental, educational, recreational, transportation, uh, residential and public housing, all for both public and private clients. Taylor Architects, Inc. also provides legal expert witness services regarding building code and ADA law compliance. For more information, you can check out their website at taylorarchitectsinc.com. You can contact them at 765-288-3615. So I greatly appreciate them for their sponsorship of us here on the WHS Network. Again, Wapple Honey here with a five-point lead. Spence drives a baseline, and that will be up and good there for two. Spence will put that one up off the glass and in there. Nice hustle there. Lewis nearly got the takeaway, but you got the deflection nonetheless. And that was a great job by Wapple Honey to get back defensively. The top of the key three. Man, I'll tell you what, that can't go uncontested right there.
Spins here on the right side. Rodifer sets up for the screen. Now Lewis here at the left. Looks for Zitgraf, not there. Zitgraf now near the left corner. Dribbles it, finds Rodifer now on the right side. And we're going to get a traveling violation here on Wapahani, their fourth turnover here in the second half. To the corner here to Snyder. And lost the handle on it. The Raiders will collect on the turnover. And we'll get a timeout. So nicely done here from the Raiders once again, creating another takeaway. And this will be a full timeout on the floor. So Wapahani with two timeouts remaining. Daleville still with three. Make sure to stay right here with us. We'll be back with more right after this message from Stoops Automotive Group. Buick and GMC dealership sales and truck manager Dale Riggs. All right, folks, again, back at it here with our Joe's Barbecue and more game break as we head back out of the timeout here. Wapahani with a slim 40 to 36 lead. And going to be really crucial down the stretch right here to take good care of the basketball. That was a really good shot there from Zitgraf. He cashes in there for two more. Adds to his total now of 10. But going to be extremely important. Uh, to make sure that we take good care of the basketball, make smart decisions. Another rebound there from Rodifer. Because obviously, you know, if we can play a little keep away here, take some good shots, take some time off the clock, we've, got, uh, we've obviously got a good opportunity here, and we're definitely in a driver's seat to come away with a W, but obviously it's still a very, very close game. So that's why it's so important to make every uh, possession count. That should be Wapahani basketball. Oh, okay. Yep. I guess it's uh, it's going to be a Wapahani turnover. Get across half court. Nice deflection there from Zitgraf. And then Lewis, no good. Zitgraf there with a rebound, and he will be fouled. I believe they're going to say it was fouled on the floor. It's going to be on number five, Bryson Sigler, his third. Team's first here of the quarter. Spence inbounding it. Finds Zitgraf now to the corners. That pass will be deflected again. Again, a couple of off-balance passes. A little ugly there, but the Raiders able to retain possession. Spence out near half court. Oh, another dangerous pass. Outside here, Henderson works it over here to Spence. Again, you like this right here, taking some time off the clock, working the ball around, settling for good shots, and keying in on right there with the rainmaker from Barack Zitgraf. That was an excellent offensive possession right there. You took time off the clock, knocked down a big time three, and put yourself up here by nine. That was big time. Right corner here, that's number one, Smith. 
And good there on the layup, number 23. So again, another possession down here. Main focus, again, take good care of the basketball and take time off the clock and settle for a good shot. Nice look again. Good ball movement there. Lewis to Zitgraf. So Brock was held scoreless there in the first half. But uh, an outstanding second half of play. Here's recorded uh, 15 points here in the second half. The bucket and the foul for Caleb Lewis. So the foul here on Bryson Sigler, his fourth, team second. And we'll get a timeout on the floor, a full timeout taken by Daleville. So they will now have two timeouts remaining with 2.32 to play here in the fourth quarter of play. Make sure to stay right here with us. And again, returning from the timeout with the Raiders on top here by eight. You're on the WHS Network. Again, both teams back out onto the floor. Again, we have Caleb Lewis here at the line for one more, looking to convert on the three-point play. And a free throw attempt will be up and good. Excellent job there from Caleb Lewis and the Raiders. So now again, bring that lead back up to a nine-point advantage. Under two and a half to play. Snyder no good. Lewis will track down the rebound. Henderson here on the right side. Rodifer sets a screen. Henderson up top now to Lewis. Now Spence. Again, want to take more time off the clock right here. Or we are in no rush whatsoever. And that one will be rejected there by Snyder. Nice hustle there from Zitgraf. And that's going to be a three-point basket and the foul. So Lewis will pick up his second. Team's first here of the quarter. Free throw attempt will be up and good. So a four-point play right there gets him back within five. Man, what a uh, important possession that was. Foul here on number five, 
Uh, Sigler, so that's his fifth. Team's third, so he gone. We'll see number 31, Jeffrey Hamilton now in for the Broncos. Inbound here for Henderson into the backcourt here to Spence. And we're going to get a foul here on the floor. So the foul's on number three, Makai Snyder, his third. Team's fourth. Inbound here on the baseline now. Spence will inbound it. Henderson now here in the corner. He'll dribble it all the way back up top here now to the right side. And we're going to get a timeout here from Wapahani. We will have one timeout remaining with 57 seconds to play here in regulation. Stay right here with us. We'll be back after this message. All right, folks, back after the timeout here. Again, a uh, five-point lead here for Wapahoney. Again, for whatever reason, our clock did not start on our screen. So now we're good. Nice shot fake and finish right there by Leighton Spence. Because excellent job right there. Again, just attacking the rim. Again, we took some more time off the clock and then got the finish we was looking for. The foul is on Sitgraf. This second, team second. Off the mark there, Henderson will track down the rebound. And a foul here on the other end. Foul on the Broncos, number three, Snyder, that's his fourth. It's going to be here on Snyder again, his fourth. Team's fifth. So two shots here for Leighton Spence. First one will be up and off the back iron, no good. Just a little too strong right there. Second free throw attempt, left that one short. So he's, now his third shot just need to be right in the middle. Too strong the first time, not enough the second. Shots up and it's good for two more. First one's up and good that time here for Spence. So he'll be at the line here for one more. The free throw is up and good. Nicely done. And 
No good right there. It's going to be deflected out of bounds as time expires. And that's going to do it here tonight, folks. A 54-47 victory for your Wapahani Raiders to make that 55-47. Apologize. 55-47, your final score here this evening as Wapahani takes care of business here as uh, they take down the Daleville Broncos here tonight. Again, they'll be back in action tomorrow night with homecoming 2024 against the Yorktown Tigers. We hope you all tune in there for that. Again, uh, also we'll have tonight's varsity action coming up. We hope you guys go to that link there on YouTube. Uh, please uh, please join us. Um, we're going to probably get on there a little bit later. They're going to have senior night uh, festivities going on, which I did not know about uh, until probably about a minute ago. Um, but we are... Uh, uh, we're going to step aside here again. Uh, no post game reports, uh, but we'll see you guys back here on the varsity broadcast probably right around 7 30. Uh, so we hope you guys tune in there for that. Again, Wampa Honey Victorious 55 47. We'll see you all again right here on your home of the Raiders, the WHS Network. <laughs>